Getting famous on YouTube is not easy. It's something that requires years of hard work and dedication to achieve. Except in the case of Glenn MC, a fake Minecraft YouTuber who completely fabricated his famousness and used it to manipulate just over 2 million people. This insane story of lies, scamming, and manipulation begins way back in September 2020. All the way over in the state of Kentucky, there's an election going on. And one political candidate in particular was determined to win. His name was Glenn Hammond. Glenn and his team set up a Twitter account for his campaign, in hopes of gaining awareness and hopefully more votes. And at first, it actually seemed like their efforts were paying off. The likes and retweets were rolling in, and he even amassed a decent amount of followers. However, all of this propaganda would ultimately prove unsuccessful, as come the election day, Glenn Hammond would lose by a landslide, abandoning his Twitter account shortly after, as well as his entire political career altogether. Now, you may be asking, how is this random account connected to one of the biggest scams in Minecraft history? Well, despite this account having a mere 170 followers, it was verified. Back in the day, only a select few accounts on Twitter were given the blue checkmark symbol. These accounts were usually celebrities, content creators, and other public figures who were deemed noteworthy enough to warrant verification. As a result of this, accounts with the checkmark were usually seen as more important and special people by users, often garnering more and more attention towards them simply because of this blue checkmark next to their name. So how did a random guy from Kentucky get one? Now I mentioned that usually only the most famous people got verified, but it was also given out to politicians. And so, Glenn received the checkmark, even though his account would end up laying dormant for over two years, until October 2022 when he rebranded to a Minecraft YouTuber? Wait, what's going on? A fellow YouTuber that I know was curious at the time too, and was able to reach out to another account that Glenn owned, and the conversation went as follows. Hi. Hello. Are you the person who ran for Kentucky office? I'm not the candidate, but yes, that's his account. El Brazil was then told something very interesting. Glenn's account was hacked. The hackers believed to be a man simply named Charlie, and turns out this wasn't his first time doing this. He also owns another seemingly successful YouTube channel with over 170,000 subscribers. Or that's what he wants you to think. In reality, he used a sub bot to artificially inflate his subscriber count. In the past, he's tried to advertise various crypto and NFT scams on this channel. However, these scams failed to take off not only because, you know, he didn't actually have any real viewers, but also because they were blatantly obvious scams. I mean, Santa apes will make you a millionaire? Come on, bro. No one that knows how to spell the word crypto would actually fall for this. But what if he could target a younger, more gullible audience? One that he could easily extract more money out of? Well, that's exactly what he did. Charlie somehow stumbled upon this inactive verified Twitter account, managed to hack in, and then proceeded to turn the blue checkmark into a weapon. The attention economy is the idea that in today's age, attention is a scarce commodity and everyone is competing for it, especially on social media, and this is where Charlie's plan comes in. In order to maximize the amount of attention his account receives, Charlie set up a bot on his Twitter account that would automatically like every single tweet that contained targeted words like Minecraft, Dream, and SMP. The idea was to have the victim notice that a verified account liked their Twitter post, which would get them curious as to who this mysterious famous person is, eventually leading them to click on his profile, which was set up in a very strategic way too. He claimed to have over 2.5 million subscribers on YouTube and a whopping 7 million followers on TikTok. This obviously wasn't true. I mean, a single search on YouTube or TikTok will confirm that. Which is why he didn't link them hoping that his young, gullible target demographic will just take it at face value. Finally, Charlie mentions this Minecraft server he's working on three separate times, with a link to his Discord server coaxing people to join. But this is ridiculous. Using a bot like this to lure people into a scam Minecraft server is so blatantly against Twitter's terms of service. And even if it wasn't, he literally hacked the account that he was using to do all of this with. Surely this wouldn't actually work, right? Who is Glenn MC, and why is he your tweet? No one knows who he is, or why he's doing what he's doing. 
Glenn has caused a lot of issues for the Minecraft community. 100k, 500k, 1 million liked tweets in just a matter of days. People were beginning to talk about Glenn MC. YouTubers were beginning to notice him and make videos on his strange behavior. However, all of his attention, even if it was negative, was ultimately just backwards feeding into more attention on his Minecraft server. In any other situation, a bot blatantly running around all over Twitter and liking millions of people's posts would be a big issue. But at the time, Twitter was dealing with its own massive problems, like having over 60% of their workforce fired by Elon Musk. Many of these fired employees were previously in the support department and would normally handle issues like this. Charlie knew exactly what he was doing. In fact, he even started to play into the bit by beginning to tweet out things like, sorry, I like your tweet. Who am I? With a link to his Discord server. And if I liked your tweet, check my bio ASAP. His Discord server was gaining thousands of new members, and the release date of his Minecraft server was fastly approaching. Against all odds, this was actually working. The day had finally come. Skycube was now open to the public, and to celebrate, Glenn MC hosted a Twitter space, and from this, we're able to confirm that the hacker was in fact Charlie all along. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. My name is Charlie. That's what I meant to say, and I would really appreciate it. So, everyone join up. From the second that players joined the server, they were urged to buy all sorts of grossly overpriced in-game items. Now that the server released, Charlie's full plan became very obvious. The victims were getting lured into a pay-to-win server, meaning in order to progress and get OP items, they'd have to pay an insane amount of money. But did this actually work? Well. Not exactly. Despite all the quote-unquote marketing that he'd done, Skycube was only leveraging around 20 players on average. The server itself was completely underwhelming, and the gameplay was standard and unenjoyable. If this was the case, then why would anyone even want to play on it, let alone spend money on this server? But the server wasn't the only problem for Charlie, though. Just a few days later, Twitter famously introduced their new version of Twitter Blue, allowing literally anyone on the platform to obtain a precious verification badge for just $8 a month. Not only was Charlie's server idea a complete failure, but now he didn't even have the one thing that made his account special in the first place. In a last ditch effort to make as much money as possible, he fully rebranded his entire Twitter account to go from Minecraft back to NFTs. On top of this, he also bought it himself another 100,000 followers. However, this would ultimately be the final nail in the coffin for the Glen MC Twitter account, as Twitter would finally acknowledge the suspicious activity going on with his account and completely shadow ban it by the beginning of december 2022 just over a month after his original plan begun skycube would be completely shut down and any proof of it and glenn mc would be wiped off the face of the planet